What's going down everybody? Back on the F100 project. So I've been taking a little break, going to get back on it, try to get a couple more things buttoned up. I want to get the rear end painted as well as fuel system and a couple other things. So we're going to start on the rear end. Uh, on my Instagram channel, reached out to a company called ERA Paints. Uh, I asked them if they wanted to work together on this rear end and they sent me some paint. So we're going to be priming this bad boy, painting this bad boy, and clear coating this bad boy. And um, and you'll be here with me see how it turns out so i'm going with a bronze and uh satin clear so i guess let's get it torn apart get it prepped and uh get some paint on before i start turning this thing apart uh for those of you that don't know this truck uh, this is a 88 rear end of an 04 mustang full four link um that i put in here it was in here when i got the truck but uh pinning angle was off mounts were all crazy frame rails weren't even so i ended up changing a bunch of this stuff which there's other videos if you want to check that out go ahead but i figured i'll show you i started cleaning the rear end a couple months back and that's where we're at so we're going to get this thing like i said cleaned up we're going to prime it paint it and clear it and we'll see how it turns out all right well instead of just hitting the old time lapse like i always do i don't know if you guys like that i'm gonna Jack this bad boy up, get the jack stands under it, pull the wheel off, pull the fuel tank out, and uh, then I'll do the time lapse. So, you know, so that way we gotta hang out a little more. I'm sure there's a bunch of you just wishing we could hang out. Well, today's the day. So like I said, I'm gonna get this up. I'm gonna leave the bottom control arms connected to the truck. Um, I'll take the top ones off just to give me a little more room um, to mask it, but I don't think I need to take the bottom ones off. I am going to be swapping out all these control arms. Um, like I said, this is all 04 Mustang. So the people over at uh, QA1 have a fully adjustable um, arm kit for this. Uppers and lowers, heim joints and fancy. Um, so I'm going to be swapping all this out um, with that. So I'm not really worried uh, about the bottoms. I'll keep it as clean as I can. I'll mask it so it doesn't get, you know, it doesn't look bad until I do swap it out. But uh, not, not hugely worried about it. So I'll put that on there. The fuel tank out, and then I'll uh, push you to time lapse, and we'll get this thing torn apart. Well, got fuel tank out, wheels off, springs out, got the rear end as low as I can go with brake line still hooked up, shocks out, upper control arms out. So, <clears throat> I mean, at this point, let's get this thing cleaned up and uh, start getting ready for primer. Here, I'll bring you in here. So I've wire wheeled, diff two different types of wire wheel you can see. This is the second time I've cleaned it. <clears throat> wire wheeled this thing down, wire brushed it down on this side. Uh, I wiped it down with the uh, wax and grease remover. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean it up a little bit more and I'm gonna shoot some of that 2K primer on this axle tube tonight because I'm about done. And I'm gonna let it cure. And then I'm gonna take a screwdriver and razor blade to it tomorrow and see how strong it is. Um, I mean, I know on some of, some of the other paint that I use uh, for doing this kind of, you know, like the frame and stuff like that. I mean, I didn't get it down to raw metal. I got it, all the heavy stuff off, all the loose stuff off, cleaned it really good and shot it on there. So I'm hoping this primer should bite really good and we won't have any issues. So like I said, I'm gonna spray out this axle tube and then we'll let it dry and we'll see how it is tomorrow and, and regroup. Here, show you all these goods from EAR Paint. So we got our, we'll start with number one. We got their 2K epoxy primer, um, pro quality primer is what it says. Um, this is what we're doing obviously for our primer. So it's an epoxy primer. This should etch really well, especially with cleaning it um, with that uh, wax and grease remover. Once that's dry and everything's good and dandy, then we got our bronze um, automotive caliper paint. So I went with the caliper paint, obviously over just like a normal automotive paint, because this is going to be a little stronger. Um, obviously it's to do better with heat and 
th that was that was why we went that direction. And then we got our pro quality clear coat. This is a satin clear coat. Um, I didn't want the rear end to look like a, a bar of gold. You know, I wanted that muted bronze. So that's what that's what we went with. So I got those those three three different uh, primer base clear. And that's what we're gonna be doing. So let's get that cleaned up one more time and I'm gonna shoot some primer on it. And then, like I said, we'll come back and check on it in the morning. That. Getting in, like in here. No, 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 no. Yeah. I'll we'll call that a score for the internet. <laughs> Win. Said, I'm gonna spray out this one side. Just did a nice, nice coat on it. On the pumpkin on this side, everything that I cleaned. One thing I was gonna show you though, it's kind of legit. It has. An adjustable spray tip so you can adjust the flow like you can put it down heavier or thinner which is actually really nice I've never seen that before maybe that's a normal thing um, but I've never seen that and it was actually really cool because I was putting it down I just tuned it down and uh, I mean it's already flashing off so I think that's sweet we'll see what it looks like tomorrow see how strong it is day everything's dried up because uh, that I hit it hit it with the razor knife and I definitely had to grind on it to get it to get through. And that was just one coat. So definitely seems pretty buff. So we'll get this thing the rest of the way cleaned up and uh, yeah, get the whole thing primed out. First coat of the 2K primer, epoxy primer is on. It's looking good, it's already flashing off. Um, the stuff is drying really quick. So uh, I'm gonna look again at the recoat time, hit my second coat on this, then I'll flip it over and get the other side. And then when I get two coats on the other side, I'll just immediately roll um, after that flash, I'll immediately roll into color. And then we can see some color today. Don't make that respirator. Over and help today. I'm gonna give him the privileges of popping the bronze. Get in there. You gotta want it. Got it. Now two minutes. This side is all painted, and Dexter had a good idea to use the cherry picker. He didn't say the chains, but I put the chains in the upper four link bolts. I'm gonna grab it, I'll lift it up. And that's how I'm going to paint the other side of it. That way I don't have to worry about getting any pressure marks, ripping any paint off. But I think it's definitely champagne campaign. No editing here. Let's, we'll see if it works together or something bad's going to happen. And you guys will get a laugh at me. Oh. I think it worked. Gonna do the old spinny do. That'll do, pig. Let's get some paint mixed up. All right, well, second coat's on. Got the little heater out here. It's not it's not cold in the shop. It's, I don't know, about 68 degrees. So I'll leave a little heater on, let it bake tonight, and uh, we'll come back and see you tomorrow. Well, another day has passed and it is dry. So I figure you look at me before we look at it. It didn't darken up too much. There it is. What do you think? It's definitely gold. Champagne? Not really bronze. But it looks cool. I don't think I'm going to do a satin clear. I think I'm going to leave it shiny. I think we're going to rock it the way it is. So Dexter's going to come over. And we're going to go ahead and throw it in the truck. See what it looks like.
there you have it. That was absolutely pointless because who's ever going to see it? It's definitely more of a champagne color than the bronze I was going for, but I like it. Um, like I had said, I definitely decided to not do um, the flat clear. Uh, I like it shiny, so I think it'll be cool the way it is. Um, sometimes you go for one thing, you hit something different, but I like the way it turned out. I think it's, I think it's kind of cool. It looks, you know, it's, it's the. It's the it's a shiny piece in there, but um, paint did great. Uh, flash time was good. It cured good. There's, I mean, it's super consistent on the glossiness. Um, there's no like weird flat spots. A lot of time when you use rattle cans, you'll get some sheen differences. The whole rear end looks, I mean, it looks awesome. It, lo it, it looks really good. Um, even with the amount of metallic in it, it sprayed really good. It wasn't like blotchy. Um, it didn't spit out. So definitely, definitely happy with that ERA paint. Thanks again um, to them for hooking me up with the paint to do this. I think it's just one more thing to just make this thing look, uh, you know, different than the rest of the crusty old ones out there. So, I don't know. You know, <clears throat> that's that. All in all, I think it turned out good. Definitely a little more champagne than I was going for. I like those out of there. So, um, But I like it. Like I said, planned on being more bronze and planned on doing it with that flat clear. Uh, now it's like champagne and it's shiny, but nonetheless, happy with it. Like I said, the paint did really good. Appreciate all y'all for watching. Definitely more to come on this. I'm getting back on the Camaro. We got a lot more to do than that. It's more track days, stuff like that. And, uh, we need to get this thing running. So fuel system next and get this thing fired up, but appreciate you. You guys like the video, hit that like subscribe and, uh, more to come soon.